Hey everyone! Today I'm going to bring you on a tour of the JLC PCB factory. In the upcoming videos, I plan to visit more places like this in Shenzhen and introduce you to interesting local Chinese. But in order to do that, we have to talk about the role of English in China. It takes about 10 years of specialized study for Chinese to become fluent in English without living abroad. This means that unlike many countries where nearly everyone at a certain level of education speaks English fluently, it's a quite specialized skill here. A lot of our best and brightest can concentrate almost entirely on their fields of study. And often that means setting aside real fluency in English. Although most engineers and scientists can read English for their work, many aren't that comfortable speaking it. If you've ever been frustrated trying to explain a technical problem to someone at a Chinese company doing customer support, this is why. Chances are they're an English major with little knowledge of engineering. Employees who are both technical and speak English are rare and can demand high salaries. What this means is when I bring you places, I can introduce you to the most knowledgeable, interesting people, or I can introduce you to ones who speak English, but who often don't have as in-depth knowledge. When you see me interact with people in my videos, even though they think I'm unusual, I'm still local, still a fellow Chinese. There is no cultural barrier, but as soon as I turn to the camera and speak English, I find that changes. People are more guarded. They wonder what I'm saying. Am I talking about them? Imagine I walk through an American factory, pointing at workers and chattering away in Chinese. It would be uncomfortable. I'm sure the American workers will be polite and friendly anyway, just as we Chinese are. But you would get a less open, authentic view of those people and their environment. What I want to do is show you these places as a Chinese person, how we interact and speak to each other. I think it offers a deeper experience. As far as the video goes, you are fellow Chinese on a tour, and I'm going to talk to you in Chinese, with subtitles of course. Now, I know that's a little inconvenient, but it also means I can give you much more precise translations of what the engineers are saying. With all the nuance that gets left out when you do quick interpretation on the spot. The other thing is I have a pretty strong local accent, and while I'm considered very articulate in Chinese, no one would mistake me as having anything but a working class background. I don't want any workers thinking I'm any kind of fancy girl, too good to work the line right beside them if I ever needed to. I'm just a local girl made good, the daughter of factory workers. These are my people, and it's important to me to interact with them in a respectful way. And by doing that, maybe I can give you a peek into real Chinese lives. I want you to see these places through my eyes or as close as I can get you. So. Please make sure to click the CC button on the lower right of this YouTube window and select your language. Then in the comments, let me know what you think. Did it work? Did you feel a bit closer, more of a fly on the wall, or was the reading too troublesome? I'll make sure future videos reflect everyone's preference.我们现在在这个加力创第一部分 这么大一块, 
格的，这么这么大。然后这里是他们是有大大料大料面板。然后在我这边是两个分流的一个挡风的那个防冰线，后面那个机器干嘛的？对，那个是从这边连的，给让它摆成下来，分成了两边，这边开的快，这边开的慢。对，它降速。这是一个天然，就是说它有点转那个。如果它不转了，它直接降速。直接转到只能磨一边，不能到四边。哦，还磨边上，非常整洁。现在已经是非常整洁了。现在我们可以看到这些边，刚刚经过磨，经过裁剪，然后磨。然后就。装上那个钉，钉住，固定着。这些板子全部都已经是，呃，切割好的，要送往下一批运作。所以现在我们要把它全部钉起来，这个还是蛮坚固的。谢谢谢谢第二个部分，第一个部分就是。对，从材料从大变成小，大再叠到一起。有很多人就想看那种压板，压板。对，压板的呀，我们后面可以去看有。这个需要升起来吗？升起来，把这个升起来吗？对对,对。好，升起来吧。来。你好。<笑>把这个台面升起来。谢谢谢谢，升起来。哇，我靠！现在还是在做，这是六孔的还是两孔的？六六个轴的。六个六个。最精彩的还是看它换那个换头的。对，这样我们可以下来，那台已经干完了。那里有感应器。哦，有啊、呃，有感应器，对，消音机，消音的，对，把这个板子，这一些，刚刚对，就是把那个钉子，把它放进去，然后就把它把那个板子拆开来，对吧？对，消音就是在这个部分做。一个一个自己自动化降下来，对，自动自动放自动接。完完完。对，就是一个收尾，那里还有。那我们现在参观的就是那个导线交线。导线交线。就是让铜里面有铜。哦，明白。就镀铜在上面玩的铜。然后像这里就是入料。然后看这里是微石。它里面放的是什么啊？里面放的是。酸。哇！我要看一下这个。这里就已经刚刚所说的，进完导电胶之后，这个是已经涂上干膜曝光，也就是说上面是有弧形的了。经过这里是一个涂电线，就是这孔头本来很薄嘛，经经过这里加电之后才能达到那个厚度。就我们说正常使用的一个厚度，半一安时。中知道这个为什么黏黏的？这个是起到一个粘层的一个作用，就是防止尘进入。起到一个除尘的一个作用。<笑>对。好
这边开门。请从后门退出。对。现在正在换火，把直接从这边进来，经过这边压火。然后它这个有什么用？它中间这个。啊，这个它假如板太多，这边慢嘛，这边也慢，忙不过来的会回来再绽放，绽放完再放回去。哦、厉害厉害。都会有这设计，刚才里面呢就是这样，你到这里这里可以看到，你可以看它上面已经给它贴好了一层保护膜一样的东西，你看这个就是很慢，看像现在上面贴了一层这个紫色，有点微紫色的，就是一个干膜。它翻的主要的功能是干嘛？啊，就是说它这里会有一个需要量嘛，因为是热压上去的，你俩一下叠到一起。它会皱，这样我们正常的贴膜是一个道理。然后像这边就是我们的一个曝光机，这个是一个。哦。后。那这个又那么的，有身高的那个。要吹一次，对不对？对对对，这个不用吹，出去不用吹。哦，出去不用吹。对。您好，像这个就是板子出来的一个，已经是有图形的了。像这个板子，上面还有一层保护膜。对。怎么做到的？一一度。经过这个曝光。哇靠！好厉害。对。对我们刚刚看到的那个。对，剪影出来的那个板子，刚刚在曝光也是这个板子。很喜欢看到他们有这种吹啊，对，两边现在都有。那、啊、清理不是很麻烦吗？这些好像挺脏的。呃，这个脏的话很简单，一抹就干净了。我们有专门的那种清洗的那个，一抹就干净了。我想那种搓死人的这么辛苦，这边还有一个缝。你像这边都是剪影好的吧？So here are my LED rings. It's not finished yet, but wow, it's huge. Oh, it's coming! Yeah, he's got that one. Yes. Label of designed by Naomi Wu, created by JLC PCB. 
，完了，<笑>哎，谢谢，然后我又把这个怎么放一放，谢谢。在这里跳，接了。Okay, that's the JLCPCB factory. They are my new sponsor, and I'm going to be working with them on some really cool projects and doing some of the same community liaison work you've seen me do with Creality, helping them contribute more to the hardware community. Open source advocacy, trying to improve communications, and making sure JLC understands what their overseas customers want and why they want it. So here is version one of the rings. Next time, I'm going to solder on the surface mount components and see if it works. See if my first real product is ready to go on sale. If you are in electronics and already design PCBs. Please consider using my link to JLC in the description box. By supporting my sponsors, you show them I'm worth supporting. I, I really appreciate it, and I think it's important to show Chinese companies how important community engagement is. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.